Hello everyone and welcome to the Physics 121 concept session on scalar or dot products. Uh, my name is Nathan Martin and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So this uh, problem here, we have to find the following dot product of the two vectors negative one comma three and two comma five. So the whole like operation of a dot product I'm just going to kind of write this down so that you can get it in your notes. So if I had, say, this would be my a vector and my b vector. So if I had some a vector, I'm going to call it a1, a2, comma, right, this can go on indefinitely to a n, right? Likewise, I have a b vector, oops, b vector, that goes on indefinitely to B of N. So the dot product between these two vectors A and B is uh, all you're doing is just this operation. It's the sum of the products as I starts at one and goes to N. So what this kind of simplifies to is all you're doing is just multiplying the x components, so your a1 times b1, plus your y components, so your a2, b2, plus your, right, however many dimensions you're in, plus the a to the n dimension times the b to the n dimension. So what you're doing, right, these vectors, they have x components and y components. So what you do is multiply all your x components, add them, multiply your y components, add them, and so on, right? So let's solve it in red, okay? So let's solve that. So the dot product of a and b between the vector negative one comma three with two comma five, so I multiply the x components, so that'd be a negative one and a two, and then I wanna add it with the multiplication of the y components, which is a three and a five, right? So negative one times two, that's equal to negative two, three times five, that's equal to 15. So the dot product between these two vectors is 13. And also notice, this is a, a scalar, right? It's just a single number. It doesn't have direction involved, right? So that's why it's called the scalar product as well. Scalar because it's a scalar, right? Awesome. Let's clear that up. Cool. So if you want more information on various tutoring services, such as our hours of operation, uh, review sessions, or additional concepts, feel free to visit our website at tutoring.asu.edu, and it's completely free, so don't forget about that. And then if you want more information or you enjoyed watching this video and want kind of more of these, visit the second link located at the bottom here, right? Visit that link. And then we'll see you there.